beautiful people you're welcome to my youtube channel i am vivian so today i want to make a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodice pattern so with this basic bodice pattern you can make a dress like what i'm putting on and any other style of dress okay so if you're ready for this tutorial let's get started to cut our basic bodice pattern we need our pattern paper so i didn't place it on fold because this is paper but when we are cutting on fabric we have to place it on fold okay so i've marked my shoulder line just a straight line at the top now i'm going to i'll be taking my vertical measurement so i'll place my tape at this line that is the shoulder line then i would mark my vertical measurement so from my shoulder line to my boss point is 10 inches the under boss is 13 the waist is 15 then the hip is 24 so I'll be taking 26 for the full length of the blouse so I'll mark at 26 so these are the vertical measurements so I will draw a line okay I'll draw a line so to help me with my line I have to mark my points also at this area so that I can connect to have straight lines so this is my bust line so I'll draw my bust line here okay then I'll draw the other lines. There I have it. So this is the bust line, the under bust, the waist, and the hip. So at this shoulder line, I would be taking my shoulder measurement. And the shoulder is 15 inches. Divide by 2 is 7.5 inches. Then I'll be adding half inch for seam allowance. That is for joining the sleeve. Okay, so I would mark 8 inches there. That is 7 inch, 7.5 inches plus the half an inch. That is 8 inches. Okay, then I would mark my neckline. So the standard for neckline is 3 inches. But you can make your neckline as wide as you want. Okay, then I'll be coming down by 3 inches. So... The wideness of your neckline is your choice. So this is my neckline. Now, the human shoulder is sloppy, it's not straight. So come down here by one inch, okay? That's from the shoulder point. We come down by one inch, then connect it to the neck width, like so. Then from this shoulder slant, I would be measuring my armhole. So you can divide your round armhole by two or you make use of this simple formula. Bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5. So the bust circumference here is 36 divided by 6 plus 1.5. I have 7.5. So I'll be placing this 7.5 along this line, along this side, okay? So I'll place my tape rule and I'll mark the 7.5. This is it here. And I'll, I would connect the points with a line. But for now, let me extend my shoulder slant. That is to have my seam allowance. For joining at the shoulder so this is very necessary because if you don't do this by the time you join your armhole will be short okay so just extend by half inch extend your shoulder slant by half inch then connect okay so I'm just going to connect it like so there it is then I would now draw my line from my shoulder slant. That is the first shoulder slant. 
to this point where I have 7.5 inches. Okay, so this is my armhole line. This is my armhole line. So I'm just going to extend it. Okay, so this new extension is the chest line. Then I would find the midpoint. Okay, I would first of all take my measurements that is the bust measurement because the fabric is on fold i'm going to divide my bust measurement by four you know we are dealing with the quarter of the fabric that is the the front pattern this is the quarter of it so that is why we are dividing our measurement by four the circumference so i'm taking the net the bust circumference divide by four that is nine then I'll add half inch for ease at the armpit area. So I'll just mark it. Okay, then back to my arm hole line. I'm going to, I'll be finding the midpoint of my arm hole line. So since I have 7.5 there, I'll just fold my tape like so and derive the midpoint. Then I'll place it and mark it out. So that is my midpoint. Then I'll be coming in by one inch. So you can come in by half inch. Okay, but I like my armhole to be deep at the front. So that I, it can eliminate any excess of food at the armpit area. Okay, after sewing. Then I'll connect with curve at this point so just position your french curve perfectly well and you connect okay so i have it here now this is it okay so i have it i'm just going to blend it so that it, it won't be sharp at this end okay this is my front arm hole which is deeper than the back so the back arm hole just connect your curve like so and you just draw it okay so this is the back arm hole and this is the front arm hole which is deeper than the back so i'm just blending my curve okay so that is it so just blending it out all right so at this point i will be taking my dart so to take your dart you need your boss palm which is from one nipple to the other okay that is nipple to nipple divided by two mine is eight inches divided by two that is four so i'll mark four from my boss down to the hip points okay so mark four inches like so okay then i'll connect with a straight line so just connect like so and we have it there all right so by at this bus point i'll be coming down by one inch then at the hip point i'll be coming up by two inches so that is it then at the waistline i will mark half inch by this side and half inch by this side okay then i would connect so just connect like so and connect this side also and also connect the down parts okay you have it there and also connect this side so this is our darts okay so this is our darts now i'm going to draw my neckline so just position my curve and draw my neckline just like this then i'll also draw the back usually the back is higher 
than the front so I'm just going to mark one inch there then I would make my curve that is the back neckline okay that is the back neckline and the front neckline the back armhole and the front armhole there so at this side I'm I'll be taking my horizontal measurements okay so I have already taken my bust measurements at this chest line okay so that will also cover up for this bust line okay so what i'll do is just add my sewing allowance so i'm adding two inches sewing allowance and this will also cover up for the bust okay so at the under bust the under bust circumference is 32 so 32 divided by 4 is 8 inches so i'll mark my 8 inches there then I'll replace my darts, okay? Just measure your darts, then you replace it. You, just, you have to do this, okay? If you don't, your clothes will be tight after sewing. So you have to replace your darts. Then I'll add the two inches sewing allowance. That is it. Then at the waistline, the waist is 34 inches. Divide by four, I have 8.5 inches. So I'll mark my... 8.5 inches there okay then I'll also replace my one inch that okay so that's one inch then I'll add my two inches seam allowance okay then add the hip parts my the hip is 39 inches Divide by 4, we have 9.75. So I'll mark 9.75. Then I'll just let me mark 10 you know, for ease. Okay. So I'll mark at 10. Then there's no dart at the hip side. So I just add my 2 inches sewing allowance. And this is it. Now I would connect. So bear in mind that all body shapes are not the same. So the shape of your body's pattern would be, okay, you have it just the way the body shape of the individual, the way the body shape is following your measurement, okay? So all bodies, all basic bodies pattern are not the same. So you have it depending on the type of body shape an individual has. So you just carefully connect your points there and you just curve it out carefully at this point and you have it okay so this is our basic pattern as basic bodies pattern okay so i would be cutting okay so i would be cutting it right now and let me just extend the line here so this is it so right now I would cut and when I cut I would cut the back okay this is I'll cut on this side first of all so that I can use it to cut my back piece before cutting out the front so remember I'm cutting on this outer curve that is the back so I'll cut just like this. Okay. So I'll also cut on this line. That is my shoulder seam allowance in the back neck line. So this is my basic body pattern. Okay, so I will use this pattern to cut out the back before cutting out my front armhole and front neckline so i have my back piece there i have marked out my zipper allowance that is one inch for zipper allowance then i'll place my pattern on it okay this is to cut out the back piece so just going to cut it out 
following the pattern okay so i have it here i have it here right now i'm going to transfer my lines to the back also this is to help me get my back that okay so i'm making the point on this part that is the bust the under bust the waist and the hip also doing same at this area okay so that i can draw my line and also draw my back darts so this is it so now i can cut out the front arm hole okay so here is my front arm hole So this is it okay then I'll also cut out the neckline so let me cut out the neckline and I have it here so this is it this is our front okay you can see this part where you join by the time you join it to the other part you have your perfect neckline and your arm hole okay so you can see now to the back to the back i would draw my lines okay i'll draw my line so i still need this for my shoulder line okay i have to mark out my shoulder line so i put it in place like this then this will help me get my shoulder line because the back that would start a little bit under the chest line okay sorry i was saying shoulder line this is chest line sorry this is a chest line okay so this is where our back that would start okay so this is the bust line here and we have everything so we are also going to, i'll be marking my bust pan also that is from one nipple to the other which is four inches remember it is eight divided by two so that is four inches i'll mark it all the way down okay So I have it there. Now I'll draw my line. So just draw the line. And this is it. Okay. Now I would mark my points. So I'm starting from the waistline. I'll take half inch on this side and half inch on this side. Then from the chest line, I'll come down by half inch. Okay. Then at the hip, I'll come up by two inches. Then I'll connect. Okay. So just connect like so. So place your ruler properly, then you connect, okay? You also do same at this point. Just position your ruler, then you connect. Same at this point. Okay, so we have it here. This is our back that okay very simple so our basic bodice pattern it's complete okay so you have we have the front piece and the back piece so when we join 
okay remember we join the shoulder before we join the sleeve and other parts of the bodies so i hope this tutorial has been helpful to you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't hit the like button and also the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified okay don't forget subscribe okay see you in my other videos thank you for watching bye